Johnson. What kind of twisted our neighborly bird want to hurt our peaceful community? Doctor, my friend here needs your help. Oh? I'm not a mechanic. What could she possibly want from me? Oh, this doctor can help me? Greetings, doctor. I wish to download my data and core programming into a human brain. You... you want what? Is she serious? Curie has a lot of pre-war research data, but she can't continue her important work as a robot. Why not? There are fundamental limitations in my robotic systems, I have no capacity for the human trait of inspiration. I've never considered anything like you're proposing. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though. All the extra pieces of robotic program decision-making. A normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand, well, it's already somewhere between the two. You're not suggesting... I won't kill a synth. I'm suggesting nothing of the kind. Allow me to explain. I've worked on synths before. Giving them memory wipes so they can live a life free of the Institute. But the procedure isn't always successful. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain-dead state. Living, but with no cognition. I know a caretaker for one of these brain-dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. I'd like to try. We just need her caretaker's consent. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They are understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will... with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. The caretaker should get back to me soon. She's not one to wait. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Den's not accepting new clients right now, sweetheart. says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. <clears throat> if you need some protection for your settlement, I used to be a soldier for the gunners. Sure. I know the perfect place. Want to work for me? Roger that. Where do you want me? Just one 
That's right, good man. I'm the one you're looking for. Oh, we'll be right back. For a short break. Beautiful, is it? I'm keeping my eye on you, killer. Can I get some water? I don't need to be the reason. Oh, it says I have a stash of the good stuff. Just for you. You are such a sweet hunter. Thank you. Tell you what, man. Just for you. I Excuse me, you miss. Drink. Hmm? What's the matter, Anderson? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I love the song. It was perfect. Real great set this evening, man. Of songs, that is. Oh. Is it warm in here? Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> Now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Hmm, I think I know what you thought when I see you. You're good with your words. You know just the right thing to say at the right time. So what brings a man like you to my party? I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer, I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. You, me, an evening walk under the streetlights. Music. Mm. Something special, right? Let me get my coat. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Let me get my coat. Got beer. You ain't buying beer. I haven't been out on the town in too long. Thank you. I'm afraid my first love is always going to be the stage, though. I hope you understand. I just can't get too attached. I'll see you around, good neighbor. When I'm up there singing, mm, I'll be thinking of you. Cooking cameras, Claire. It's not 
all of them. What about sampling those camps equal? Maybe if you stop using you can focus. This place ain't what it used to be, and it ain't used to be much. You're the one that wants to use G519's body? I... I just don't have the caps to keep her alive anymore. Life support ain't easy or cheap, you know? I was gonna pull the plug on her. What you're proposing sounds... a little better. Better than letting her rot. She'll be giving what's left of her life for someone else. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Since G5 has no one else, for what it's worth, you have my consent. Thank you. I know this must be difficult. Yeah. I'll leave you to it. Curie. Let's begin. Alright. Connection complete. I have access to a friend's memory. G5's already been cracked. So this shouldn't take long. Yes. There. My chest. What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. It's not a bad I. I feel. I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. You had me worried there. Do not concern yourself. I feel better now. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Barrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed, very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, my insights feel peculiar. What is that? Are you okay, Curie? I feel functional, but this feeling... My chest is tight. Poor oh, Dr. Borrow. The operation appears successful. But I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. Hey. What do you want? Hey, he's good. 